Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to this channel. It's your girl here. My name is Raquel Blessed and I want to appreciate all the people who have supported me from day one up to where we are right now. Yeah, and if you're tuning in right now, welcome to this channel. So guys, today I've decided to take you to the sewage system here in Burundi. This is not water that you are seeing on your screens. It is the sewage system and i can say it is much cleaner much cleaner than you know <laughs> the countries we know yeah so it is so big and there are some houses i can see there so let's just keep walking and i show you the system here in burundi how it works i can see this is the first row can you see the first row there is the second third and fourth and in each row there are two columns of such kind of water like you see this square there's another squares on that side and uh, this square there is another one on that side each square has sewage and uh, there are sometimes they usually come to clean uh, the water I think this is the higher scene or the weed. The sewage system in Burundi is very organized. The sewage system it is in a place called um, Buterere it is in a place called Buterere and it's so clean and guys don't come here in the AMs or PMs alone because there are a lot of hippopotamus that hang out here so to be on the safe side you need to come here this time and also this time you can find some hippopotamus grazing so be very careful and they are very smart and fat you know because they eat the original nutrients yeah and uh, besides me there are some plantations hello Habad Mahor let me show you Just beside there is some plantation that goes on. Um, this is because you see from the sewage at the banks there are sand that is very rich in nutrients. So they come to harvest it and then come to farm here. So there is farming going on here. Like this are uh, what we call terere in Kenya. But here they say renga renga. And also this one muhogo. So, and there are some I can see there very far just doing their farming work yeah so guys you see what they usually do uh, let me show you an example of what I mean you see like this sand here they harvested heat can you see that sand they harvested it because it's very rich in nutrients it's like manure so when you come um, you harvest your sand here then you take the the sand here to your farm i'm telling you the produce will be so good so so good yeah it's like a fertilizer because it's very rich in nutrients and also you can they, they are sometimes they take their um 
animals to come feed from here because you can see the grass is very green and you can see someone here just plucking the grass that grass he is going to give his animals yeah so just know at the banks of the sewage system there is a very rich sand soil let me use the word soil rich in nutrients like acts like fertilizer you can see that sand yourself yeah and people farming there can you see them so that's what happens here when you come to farm if you want sand rich in nutrients and you don't have anywhere to buy fertilizer you just come here harvest your soil and you take it to your farm you just uh, make sure that every part or every plant in your farm gets equal nutrients yeah another part where they have harvested the soil this is activity that goes on here and just beside if you from the sewage system to know the farms that cut the sewage system with the buildings you can see we are going to reach there in a few those buildings mostly they are um companies or yeah let's say business uh, structures that are coming up hey, this one has harvested a lot of sun another sun being harvested here so that's the view this sewage system is so so big and this is not a swimming pool so don't try to come and swim in this it has a lot of poops and urine as usual you know but at least they have managed to organize themselves such that it is so clean you might think it is water just the water higher scenes that are um, on top now but at times uh, you will not find them because this sewage system is usually cleaned even I'm wondering why I came today and I found there was a lot of water I have seen so those are the buildings that I'm telling you they are coming up and it's as if this water is breathing and guys these uh, the chemicals they put are uh, in this sewage so that it doesn't smell but what i know for sure is that uh, burundi is really trying in matters development because you can see for yourself this is not a river this is not an ocean it's not clean water you cannot drink this water it's a it has a lot of germs because it's a sewage but you can see how they have organized themselves in a very good manner so that's it this is one of the main projects among the people living in town how to manage the sewage system or the waste products from your toilets from the industries everywhere they all come here so in french if you google it will bring for you something like uh, um what do you call it i've forgotten but it, it translates to mine of water but it's not mine of water this is sewage system yeah and uh, you know the sewage system how sometimes pass through some processes just as i've said and the final product is a clean water as you are going on you have seen people have harvested a lot of sand here and the water is becoming more clean but you can see once we started there it was a little bit dirty so that one shows you there is a process that goes on because even if we are checking right now this water is moving on on one direction that is behind from where i'm coming from you might not notice on your screens but that's what happening and the far I head forward, the more 
cleaner water is becoming yeah so i don't know the chemistry behind it but that's it now you can see there how the water is so clean the sewage Amaho. Muna la kiswahili. Eh? Amwa la kiswahili. Ah, mmetoka wapi? Tunatoka huko kushamba. Kwa shamba. Maji ni safi. Hii ni maji ya kukunywa, ni maji ya toilet, ni maji ya nini? Sio maji ya kukunywa hii. Eh. Ah, hii wanatupiaga wamu chafu. Watu waoni. Ah. Wanapitishaga kule tu Ah, uh, Kenny is trying to explain to us that the sewage system it goes through a process first of all there is a management house just where I'm from I'm going to show you in the later as we go on and he was trying to explain that water is not just water it is sewage system and they treat it with some chemicals that's why uh you can see the further you go the far the more the cleaner water becomes so the chemicals they put in the first column and it is the one that distributes to the rest of the columns so that's why you can see the first column is so dirty compared to the others so as the water flows there are some inlet inlets and outlets uh that's when it gives the others and uh, the more water becomes cleaner kenny is trying to tell me what happens here just exactly as i was explaining that's what happens sasa i'm kwenda shule leo na shule zimefunguliwa kwa nini namtaki kwenda kusoma mimi mnaenda kwa shamba kwanza ah ah eh leo sio tunasomea kiange kikoko nje kiange tu ah lakini hapo uterere apili wamesoma ah sasa kunaendanga na masiku eh ah okay masiku wa kuterere apili nao wanapata gako nje lakini sio kule tunasoma ah okay ah unaona ile jiwe ni inatumika kufanya nini jiwe ya watu hii jiwe iko hapa kando ya hii sewage ya kwanza ehe hii nakuna juu hii ehe eh nimeiona hivi maji vya hapa vya hapa vinapitia za mure chini vinashukia huko ah vinashukia huko ndio hiyo ndio na vitemshia za mure ah okay so inaingia zinakutania fasi kama ile eh inakutania pale basi vinashukia huko Na hivi kuna wenye kule chini. Ah. Unashusha mara kumi naenda kumwanga kule. Mm. Eh na hapa inaonekana ni maji safi kumbe ni sewage. We are in the middle of the two columns of water. Sasa hii kitoka hapa inaingia hivi. So you can see guys Sasa hii maji ni ya Burundi nzima ama ni hapa tu Bitereri hii ya matoile Hii ni ya ni ya Bujumbura yote Ah so, so na kuna masamaki ma mawanyama humo pako nani popotamu ah zipo zinatokea saa ngapi na hivi sasa watu wameiona pale ipo asubuhi asubuhi na kwa hapo mhm 
Ajifasta tu hapa kama masa kumina moja hii. Ah. Ah. Kwa inapenda. Na muogo pangi mnaweza tumbukia hapo ndani. Kwanza naona watoto wengi. Na wanatembea tu. Kwa pale. Akiwezi kukimbiza mtu. Kisha wazoea. Mama mama mama. Amuogo pangi mbana. Na sasa hii maji. Kisha zoea watu. Na chenyewe kwa juu kisha zoea kama watu walikuwa na kwa zoea na kuja kisha ingidia wanya wa jakiona. Watu wana kuja kwa kuja angadilia wana. Uwe. Na hiyo maji lakini ni safi. Sia machafu safi. Sia machafu. Sia machafu. Sia machafu. Na lakini hakuna masamaki hivyo. Lakini ni zile zinamfupa. Na waezi kukuruhusu wengine ufanye hiyo maana. Hapana hawakuitiki, hawaitikiagi watu wa ukura kwa juu kama kuchafu. Kisha kuwa kuburua na kubaki. Kama ni hiyo wanaitazama. Pale wale wote ndio chenye wanangojea kuangalia pale inatokea hii masaa a a mm. kutoka juu iko ya hapa hapana mm. hivi haiwezi toka kwa juu ya jua nyingi mm. ndio ile pale inapandisha mabuti wow nimeiona kabisa kila kwanga kimoja hivi kirukoga mbele kirukoga ni kimoja hali ya hali ya hivi leo hali ya sala hivyo hapa kimepanzalia hivi visha kwa kama mtatu hivyo a ah, okay lakini Aijawahi kuuma mtu hapana yeye msaidi mtu hakuna mtu shajawahi kuumiza na hapa hakuna mtu anawahi kukufia hapa hii maji unajua ni mimi ah hii maji wa inji yake yeye mtu hakuna mtu ashajawahi kukufia hapa alisema tu watoto watoto wakikuja hapo kuna sana kichokozi zao na kipipa maji wake kishatoka kukuja mpira hivi ndani hapo na tete naanza kutomboka kinadia sana sasa vile ngombe okay Wow, so uh, guys, he was explaining there are some hippopotamus here and uh, it has a family. Okay. Actually, I've seen it. I'm going to wait. It shows up. Inatokea anga saa ngapi? Saa 11 moja na saa 10 hivi. Sasa haiwezi kutokea. Aha. Lakini kuna sana tokaga, lakini ni limo ya limo ya mara. Mm. Can you see hippopotamus there, guys? Na pandisha mdomo tu. there the hippopotamus it is trying to lift up its nose to breathe some hair because they are in water I think they somehow just need oxygen so it lifts up it, its nose to get a glimpse of people and also to breathe in the air
So guys, you can see there the hippopotamus, as I just was telling you. Here there are hippopotamus and some fish, some species of fish and some snakes. So, and it's a sewage, very clean. So, so what do you mean? I'm Arsene. Arsene? Hey guys, I'm going to Arsene Harper. I've just met him as I was going about my uh, video shooting. And he's a good guy, actually. Where well, are Arsene? Hey, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot you at the same time. Ah, I'm going to shoot you at the same Yes. Na sasa hizo ma, maipopoto masi manini unazionanga hapa Nitangu nakuwa mtoto e, Nimekuwa tu unazitazama hizi tu kawaida mm, Na akujui tokea ajali hata moja Manake Aa. ziko karibu sana na manyumba e, Na hizi hapa zinatuana na watu Sundo ungo zitaribu mtu ungo zimuwe Mwala zimule hapana Wa? Zili tuzisha tuzoea si watu Aa. Na si tunazizoea Tumekula hapa story na arse <laughs> Sasa, wana una shule ni rasi? Nime stop tu ya maisha tu unafatu business. Unafanya business? Hebu ambia watu ni business, gani unafanya? Na, mi na jenga pombe ha. katika kampu ni alife. Mi ni mfanya kazi wao. Ha. Na wasaidia pombe zinaitwa Sabora, Navis, Vodas, uh -huh. Whisky Hakili, Akajosha. Hizo ndo pombe tunazotumia huko. Uh -huh. Basi ndo hii. Sasa uko life, uh, iko karibu na hapa? E, ni hapa hapa tu karibu hapo ni uko mbele kidogo. E, sasa siwo mebaatika kupata kazi, manake watu wengi napatana na wanasema. Hakuna kazi, vitu kama hizo. Na, na hizo kazi soza nyaka etu yote. E, ha, ni hile tu umepata tu na ni baati mzuri? E, ni hile tu na watu kaita, kazi tu ya kurudika. And he was trying to explain to us the kind of life they live here because he's among the people who just live near the sewage system. So also apart from that I asked him about his school and work. He was like uh, he didn't go get any further education because of lack of money. So he decided to look for work and that's when he was um, employed in a company for packaging of alcohol here in Pujumura. So he is saying he's very lucky to get such kind of work because many youth are crying there's no work but it's a problem for all countries. So he thanks God for getting such an opportunity even if the pay is not enough but he's contented. And apart from that he tells us there is a other types of animals that live inside the water apart from the hippopotamus there are some spe species of fish and also some snakes and also say that there is never even one day that has been reported fatalities here uh, because the hippopotamus is very friendly to people and they are used to people actually it's a group of them, it's a number of them, sorry. So there must be like a family of Potomac here who are used to people, that's why they don't attack people. Yeah. Kazini so in a tisha gabis. Now Kikatuna to Mika on a pattern dog or two on a school or two. A sababuna see a part of a cup while you eat it on a near saw. It has so long got to lia did to the dish. A water cut to. Riziki yako tuki kufikia, mm. bismillahi tuta safiri na uta tafutu tapata. Kabisa. Na sasa ni kuulize, na taarabu na weu na kunyo hizo pombe. Hakuna stock zina bakingi muna chonto. Che. <laughs> muna pombe, sherekea mbaka che. Pombe kulega waida wezu kanyo. Jili ukinyo manake unajikogotea kifu. Naza ukanyo kashikwa vibaya uko uko. Ndosa unanza gombana na watu, huo sijui, we fara, we nini, mnatukana, mnapigana. Ah, kazi inaisha. E, ukipigana na wanakosheka njo. Unapigana na watu kwenye kazi, umearibu vitu hivi na hivi, vina yusha tumikia frangazi na hizi ya tukupi franga, na kazi Mama. inaisha ona lantre. Ah. Na kwa sababu sako, hivu sa tuzi tukanywa. Ah. Situ nafaa kazi, tukimaliza, tunasepa zetu. Kisha kuenda ni Labda ukunyue inje, inje uko ukienda kujienjoy na marafiki Na uko inje awezu katoka na so Labda tujitole pesa ndo na uza mm -hmm. 
hapo na kunywa kwa akili unajipima ah. so ndo unyongo ulevi au utaima nyumbani wewe ni pecha kula wewe mjani wake a a hiyo ni kubana nyama wanapenda hapa e, nao nyama kwa wanaishi hapa eh. na sisi tunaishi hapa uh -huh. sisi tuko freedom yani hatuna so <laughs> mnaishi na wanyama <laughs> sisi tuko freedom <laughs> na mziogopi ah tuogopi ni fresh tu eh. Eh. na sasa mashamba sisi zinawaribia Ni mashamba tu kuharibu tushavumilia sana. Sisi tuka tuka nata kwenye serikali tukaambia miharibu hapa. Eh. Sisi tutavumilia tu. Na tukienda kwa serikali tuambie bana. Ule wanyama watumalizia vitu vyetu kwenye shamba. Mm. Bosi hatuna cha kufanya. Cha kwanza hatutoua. Ile ni mali kwanza ya inchi. Mm. Na Sa mnaipenda. E, sasa kwa hiyo nenda mchimbe kama kama ferege tu kadogo tu ah. mzungurushe shamba lenu amtokuwa kitu mtakafu that the measures stay put to make sure that uh, no animals comes to their farm to destroy is just build a fence with uh, cement or stones so that the animals will not pass through and also there is a lot of security in this place you cannot just come to do whatever you want so there are a lot of police at night to guard the place wa quartier ah ila wao hapa hivi eh awani awani selekali ndo wanazunguka dile papa anakuaga kweli mauaji na hiyo mauaji kuwa auto huwa mtungo ulete mtupi hapa hiyo ni kitu haiwezekani ah dile papa ana maselekali wa polisi wanazunguka tu hapa katika usiku mkubwa uwezi kujua wewe wewe unakuja ukifika ah wasta pita pita tu na jongo mimi naenda kushambulia watu Ah, ila utoa shambulia. Ukukute sasa wewe ndio unashambuliwa na serikali. Yeah, Afu bwana kutupa jela sasa. Ah, na kikutupa okay. jela. Mm. Nyaka yako yote. Eh. Yeah. Ndio watakushika kama muuaji kabisa. Hapa, watu yeah. wapaita kama amsari. Amsari. Hiyo yeah. ni français. Sijui saka ni français. Alafu si kwa Kiswahili tunaita vibase. Vibase. Yeah. Vibase si ni kama hapo kuna jina na yafahamu inaitwa basin. Basin ni kitu iko na unatia maji. <laughs> lakini ni karai <laughs> na sisi ndo fiba sei ah lakini fasi inaitwa amsar amsar mm. na hii amsar iko katia ya buterere mm. ah okay so we have had a wonderful one on one with sema jina yako <laughs> arsen here and amekuwa very great inspiration kinyo sasa kinyo taka to kichi sasa anatushtua eh <laughs> Acha to go papi ya wani mnyama mbaya. Eh. Angekuwa sasa tuvamia. Kisi tunaona vi hata kushimama hapa acha ogopa jibu si tuko hapa. Kwa baba sisi tunaweza muondokea ana anafika anakuja. Kasogea tu. Hapo anaweza katoka yeye wote. Jino. Eh. Ayo ya jibu. Ayo. Ayo to. Ayo. Guys, this is the building, the one that is used to do all operation for waste management here in Bujumbura. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. Make sure to comment, like, share this video. Until next time guys, we are out bye